So today I was going to elaborate a little bit on a video I posted a few weeks ago uh, on a method Lee Konitz taught me for working on connecting with your voice in a literal sense. And basically you sing a phrase and then play that phrase back. And another method he had me do that with is using a form. So in this case, using the blues as a form, a simple entry point into singing over a progression. So you pick a key, say B flat, something easy to start, and you get your starting pitch, and then you sing a phrase and play a phrase while loosely keeping the form. Um, it ends up being rubato, and sometimes the form ends up getting a little bit elongated. So right there is an example of where I started thinking I wanted to sequence down by half steps with those minor chords. Three minor, flat three minor, well actually four minor, three minor, flat three minor as a substitute for five, seven, and two. And I wanted to sing it and I actually couldn't hear it correctly. So in this case, you get an opportunity for the instrument to help train your ear. So you play the idea on the instrument and then you sing it back. And then maybe you try to do the sequence again. So in general, you're trying to play what you're hearing in your mind. Um, a little of that will be thinking. Uh, a lot of it will be audiating, just hearing the melodies. And then occasionally your thinking mind will come into the forefront of your creative process. And that's when you realize that, oh, I'm thinking of something that I actually can't sing very well. And it gives you an opportunity to improve your ear. Um, and then you can use the instrument to train your ear instead of using your ear to play the instrument. So anyway, I hope you find that helpful. I've used this ever since I learned it from Lee 
in the 90s or in the early 2000s. And um, it's just such a great exercise. It's endlessly rewarding and you can always improve. And of course, doing it in different keys, uh, working on your blues and all the keys and doing this because, you know, your ear, usually we hear and sing well in all keys. If, if we can hear the blues, we can sing the blues in any key. But obviously the instrument makes that a lot more difficult. So doing this slowly in harder keys is very beneficial uh, as far as connecting with your voice on your instrument so that the instrument doesn't become uh, becomes less of a machine and more of a megaphone for your inner voice. So it becomes a form of honest self-expression and not just a tool uh, for sport. Okay, hope you find that help helpful. See you on the next one.